Hi, welcome back to Kolska Drones. So today we've got the Eosheen E511S foldable drone. So this is a 1080p 5G Wi-Fi GPS drone. Apparently with 16 minutes flight time. It's got GPS, one key return, headless mode, altitude hold, HD camera, and you can adjust its speed. So let's have a look what you get in the box. So in the box you get an instruction manual, which is actually quite decent, tells you how to calibrate and everything. What I would say is there's nowhere on this instruction manual that it's the Yashin anywhere, so I'm guessing this isn't an Yashin product, it's just a rebranded one from someone else. So you get the drone itself, set prop guards, set of spare props, charging and a charging cable, sorry, two spare props and a charging cable and the controller. So let's just put this down here out of the way. Let's have a cut the drone. So the drone is obviously designed to look like something else. There's no prizes for guessing what it is. So it's a complete bit off of the Mavic. For a Mavic Air, it is actually bigger. And this thing weighs over 300 grams, just, which I find strange because it's well over the 250 gram limit. So this is your drone itself. So it's obviously got foldable arms. These fold down and clip in to give you more height. They actually work quite well. It's actually a quite a nice finished off drone. This is like a I don't know how you can describe it. It's like that rubber coated plastic type stuff all over the drone and then underneath is just plastic. There looks like on another drone or a different one or another one of these with an optical flow sensor this has no optical flow this does have a 1080p 5G Wi-Fi camera that's adjustable from the transmitter but there's no wheel on the transmitter you do it with these buttons I'll show you that in a minute which I don't particularly like but let's have a look now the other thing is I um, I bought this drone and I got it cheap but today I've just looked on and this is coming in at around £85 which is a lot of money you can buy it in different variants, so you can buy a 720p version, a 1080p version, or the 1080p 5G Wi-Fi one, which is this one. And I think the difference is, is the SD card slot. This one has one, I don't think there was a... Don't quote me on that, I can't, be for, I can't be certain on it. So this is the drone. So in the back you've got a battery, which is 1200 mAh, 7.4 volts, so it's a... 2S LiPo. So this is the first thing I had a problem with when I got this job. So I put the, the battery in so it just slides in like this and when I pushed it in and I tipped it up it fell out. No matter what I did I couldn't make the battery stay in. On here you've got a little lip you can see that little ridged up bit there. That pushes down to allow you to pull the battery in and out and then there's a lip on here. They were miles away from each other so what I've had to do is if you can see that's slightly bent, very slight, I put some gentle heat on that and pushed up with my finger to bend it up. And the same on here, I put a little bit of heat on the top of the battery and I just put my finger on when I was heating it enough to make it clip in. Now I have seen another video on this and someone said the battery just slides in with no effort. I'm so presuming they might all have this issue. Now I wasn't going to probably fly it with it just holding in and hoping it was staying there. So we all know what happens when the battery comes undone. So you might have to do that when you get it. You can also buy this with one, two and three batteries. And I think this quad with three batteries is £105, which is a lot of money for a brushed GPS drone. I suppose the proof would be in what it flies like. I wouldn't expect the camera is going to be brilliant. It never seems to be on any of these. I'd be quite shocked if it is decent. It's got LED lights on the back and they signal lights tell you what if it's got a GPS lock or not. I'll show you that in a second. So let's connect it up. Let's connect the drone up and then I'll connect it up to the app. So it's a single press on. All your lights will come on in the back and you'll hear the camera actually click into life at the front. So you've got four flashing lights there. This is your typical Eosheen controller. On and then up and down to make sure it's bound on your left stick. Fake antennas, absolute complete waste of time, they really annoy me. Take off and land and then you've got on here you've got the buttons for the camera. 
And yes, it does make a really annoying beeping noise. So actually camera going up and down by pressing these buttons here. I don't like that design at all. I don't understand why there's no wheel on here. If you've seen my channel before, you know I absolutely hate these remotes. The phone fits in the bottom. I've got an iPhone 7 Plus. I've had, it, it's probably bent this slightly to get it in. I dislike them immensely. I don't even like these controllers. I have no idea why we don't go back to the old type controllers. And on the top of it, you've got your photo button and your speed and rates button. But I'm not impressed with the controller at all. And for that kind of money, I expected a bit of a better controller. And start putting rechargeable batteries in these things. They don't cost much money and the recharging port on. This runs on uh, four treble A's. So that's your drone. That's telling me I've not got a GPS lock, obviously, because I'm indoors. So it does look a decent job. Wrong. The build quality is quite nice on this thing. It feels nice. I'm not saying it doesn't at all. So the app it runs on is L. WFPV. So a lot of things use this app. I've used it on another quad that I've reviewed and you've probably seen it before. So that's the thing you want to get. That's the app. Let's go into settings and just connect it up to the Wi-Fi. And what you want to find is Wi-Fi 1080p GPS. So this camera module is the same on another couple of drones I've used because this is exactly the same. As I say, I do not think this is the machine. It doesn't say machine anywhere on the drone at all. So I'll be shocked if it is there, but they branded it in their box. I'd imagine there's probably another one of these coming out with a different name on. Seems to be the way we go at the minute. So I go into the app. And there you go. It's actually quite sharp on the screen. The map works. It doesn't always on these. But as you can see, it's quite sharp. And the lag's not too bad at all. And it records for an SD card, which is a massive advantage, of course. So, there you go. So that's the app, and then it's your typical app. At the top you've got your distance and your height and your speed and all the rest of it. And then down here you've got your settings. So this is your waypoint mode, etc. Ah, these will be in a, in a further video, not in a flight video, but I'll do them in a further video. Now, there is no video button on the controller. Sorry, I, I, when I said photo, yeah, video, I meant photo. The photo button, top right hand corner, top left hand corner but no video button. So you have to start your video on here. Now, sometimes with these apps, that'll just record to the phone. It actually doesn't. It records to the SD card. If you've got an SD card in, if you haven't got an SD card present, it'll record to the phone itself. Now, I've used this app before and didn't like it. So I'll see what it's like when I do the flight video. Uh, I found it was just knocking out all the time, but might be a lot better than this one. So that's basically the drone. That's what you're getting in your box and that's what you're getting for your money. As I say, I think it's a bit expensive. And if you do, if you are thinking about buying one of these, double check this battery and make sure it actually clicks in. Because that's what it needs to be like. You need to be able to push down on that to get it out. When I got it before, I could just literally do that and pull it off. Don't say it tips up down the first time. I like the LEDs on the front. They're very, very bright. So I'm presuming they're going to look bright in the flight. So that's enough of me waffling. I'll have the flight video in a couple of days. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. For loads more videos coming up shortly on a lot of GPS drones. But also later, after probably January, there's going to be more of other things on. There's going to be more cars on the channel, more planes, more boats, anything I see related. So a lot, there's going to be a lot more, not just drones. For two reasons. One, there's not as many drones around at the minute because at the time of year there'll be less coming out and the second thing is they're all getting a bit samey. So I feel I'm reviewing this a different drone that looks different but it just behaves exactly the same as the one I've done before. And to me it's a bit pointless. So when obviously good stuff come out then I'll be getting them but you are going to see a lot more cars and other stuff on the channel. So thanks so much for watching. See you soon.